Welcome to the Hunter Report. Part of being a photographer is being able to select better photos from worse photos. It's always good to shoot more photos than you think you'll need because you don't really know if everything's in focus until afterwards and you don't really know if you captured the moment until afterwards. So it's always better to shoot more than less. And when you have a lot of photos, you need a good system to efficiently zero in on the better photos. So we're here in the library module of Adobe Lightroom, and, and there are three main ways to prioritize your photos. The first is this flag system right here, and that first flag means it's a pick, and the second flag means it's rejected. Then you have stars, which you can give any photo a zero to five star rating, and finally you have colors. And between these three ways, you have so much power in efficiently prioritizing your photos. If you don't see your stars, your flags, and everything, you need to go to this arrow right here and turn on flags, turn on ratings, and turn on color labels right there. Now before I knew how to use the rating system, I would just go ahead and delete a photo out of Lightroom. And once a photo is removed from Lightroom, it's insanely difficult to get it back into Lightroom. So don't delete photos from Lightroom unless you have to. So your first tool of choice is gonna be your picks versus rejects. So let's go ahead right now and say that this one's a pick and I'm not even really caring, let's say that one's a reject, let's pick that one, let's reject that one, pick that one, so on and so forth for the entire photo set. Down here is how we filter the photos. So if we click right here, we get our picks, and then you can also choose everything, and now it's important to be really conscious of this menu right here. If it says filters are off, then filters are off and you're not filtering. And sometimes you might be in the rated one, which is the star system when you're really trying to do flags. So it's sometimes always good to start from filters off and then start clicking these things. So let's go ahead and click our flag photos and these are the ones that we said are picks. Now the great thing about filters is that you could turn the filter off right here like I just did. And then you have these little visual flags, a white flag means a pick, a black flag, means a reject. Let's just go ahead and add a few more picks. And now let's go ahead right here and filter our picks. So the great thing about filters is that if you want to go back to see what you rejected or to see the things you didn't pick, you just unclick the filter and you get access to everything again. So choosing something as a pick is not a one-way street and that's really powerful because maybe a day later or two days later you're gonna come back to these photos and you're gonna realize oh I missed something let me see all the photos again so that I can get at these photos from a different angle and that's what turning the filter on and off really does for you. So let's see we have a bunch of photos here as picks and that's your basic first line of offense for prioritizing your photos. I find one of the most effective ways to find the best photos is to go through your entire photo set and just do a quick first pass and that you do with the picks and rejects. And then you filter right here to see only your picks, but you still might need some extra refining. You still might need to differentiate you know, between this photo and this photo. And that to me is where the star system comes in. So for my second pass, I'm gonna start starring photos. So I'm gonna give that one one star, I'm gonna say that one sucks, I'm gonna give that one a star, I'm gonna say that one's man, I'm gonna give that one a star, man, so on and so forth. And then what you do down here, okay, you see that there's a greater than equal symbol and you can actually choose rating is greater than equal to, rating is less than or equal to, rating is equal to. So let's say we only want to find all the all the ones that are greater than or equal to one star. You click that and we refined our photo set further. And then you go ahead and say like, oh, that's a two star. Or you know immediately, okay, that's a five star, boom. So you say that's a five star. And you say, you know, since we're on the second pass, we're, we're doing twos or fives. So you say that's a two star, that's doesn't, that just stays there. That stays there and that's a two star. And then you just go here, and we were at one stars, and now you go to two stars. So we get our one that was our five star right here with the five stars, because we knew that that's a winner, guaranteed. And we filtered out. And then you can just always go back to one star right here, click, okay? And then you can just unclick it right here and get all your picks. And then you can go ahead and step all the way backward and unclick that and get back to everything. So that's one way of doing that. Or you can just go right here to the thing and, t and do filters off. That's another way of getting back to zero. All right, so let's go back to our picks. Click that right there. And let's go 
two stars and above. So the final rating system for is your color system. And you can assign whatever meaning you want to these colors. So you can say that that's a red. And then you can filter on top of that by color. So if we click here on the red filter, we only, it says two stars are higher, labeled red. And then you can do things like filters off and only select red. So it's like a database right here. You're doing like a database search that you've created. And if you're shooting a wedding, if you're shooting an event with thousands of photos, this is the only way. You're not gonna wanna delete those photos. You never know when a client of yours is going to say, oh, do you have any other photos? Because it's all subjective. What you think is a good photo is not necessarily the same as what a client or somebody else thinks is a good photo. So never deleting any of your photos unless they're like completely out of focus. Then it's okay to delete, but I'm generally pretty good. When I was more of a beginning photographer, I'd say 50% of my photos were out of focus. So if I'm shooting a thousand photos, the time it takes me to root out out of focus photos, maybe 20% of them are, are drastically out of focus. My time is more valuable to me than my hard disk space. The time it takes me to sort through an entire photo set of a thousand photos and physically delete the out of focus photos to save hard drive space. And then I have to go through back 80% of those photos again to sort them and prioritize them. I'm basically spending double the time. Every one of my minutes matters. So I'd rather just keep everything and use this sorting system so that I only have to go through as few passes as possible through an entire photo set. And using all of these tools, starting from, let's rehash from the start. Make sure that all of your sorting is activated right here on this star. We have flagging, rating, and color. And make sure you're down here at no filter to start from zero, basically. Your first pass, you're gonna wanna pick and reject, and then you click on the filter to filter the picks. Your second pass, you're gonna wanna do one star, and you're gonna wanna do as many stars as you need to for as many passes as you need to do. And then finally, you're gonna wanna use colors for whatever reason you assign to those colors. This is the Hunter Report. Check the description below for where to get Adobe Lightroom, which is the best way to sort and to develop raw photos. This is the Hunter Report. Please subscribe, please give me thumbs up, and I will see you soon.